Hello, everyone, and welcome back to round three back nine coverage of moving day here at the MVP Open, presented by OTB, the last playoff event, and things are getting sticky, or they've been getting sticky for the last nine holes as the wind has been an insane factor as players are trying to get into the Pro Tour Championship or trying to move up into position to get more strokes under par as the Tour Championship approaches in Charlotte come second week of October. Yeah, I mean, they're dealing with some of the craziest when we've ever played it on one of the tightest courses you will ever play. So it's going to be kind of an up and down round. I feel like for everybody, we're seeing that from all these individuals in different ways. Calvin's giving himself a look on almost every single hole, making some great saves, but he needs to get that putter rolling. If he can do that, I don't know if anybody can hang with him. Hole 10, par three, 377 up the hill left to right no right to left crosswind this is enormous yeah it, it, this hole's already far but with the uh we, we had just straight headwind on it so i mean oh really yeah we had a headwind i, I mean we teed off on this one like quite literally two and a half hours before these guys teed off though or maybe maybe three hours before okay left to right my bad yeah opposite ricky hits the big germ tree from the practice round where I kept hitting it, yeah. Have you hit it? I no, not since then. But people keep calling it. Hey, that's your tree, and it's, and it's not my tree. Okay, whatever. I think it's your tree. I had the tree on the right first round. <laughs> first <laughs> <one. laughs> it's Kevin Jones. That's a big shot that's inside a, circle wow. one. That's he, some anger. You know he's feeling it right now. Yeah. The big birdie that he just got on nine. Now he's got himself inside C one on ten. He's, a, he's definitely going to hit the, hit it, right? Oh, that's that's all the way up there. Yeah, he yeah, hit that's, it. Okay, so now he's been putting for nine of the first ten. What is he? Two under? I think he's just one under. Wow. Yep. Look at this hyzer. These guys are getting here way too easily. Like, frustratingly easy. I agree. But... That is the great skill to have. What being lucky? No, I'm just kidding. I'm kidding, guys. I'm kidding, everyone. Ricky. That probably oh boy. Uh oh. It could roll. Yeah. Okay, that looks like it came to rest. This is Kevin for Birdie. And Look at those flags. They're not moving that fast right now. But if you found just a different time to play here, I don't know if that putt's makeable. Oh, some of the gnarliest wind I've, I've ever seen on a disc golf course. Yeah, I mean, and, and I think part of that is just due to the fact that it's so late like, in the day at this point. What is Calvin going to do? I am very interested. Both Calvin and Eagle are quite tall, so I think they do have enough room. I don't. I, I, Eagle's got that little spinny deal. And and here's a good learning moment. Look, yes, sorry. Good learning. I wanted to see what he's doing. Good learning moment. Notice how neither one of them are marking their lie. Calvin, what are you doing? Oh, he's, he's just looked. Oh, he actually is doing it. Oh, he's doing basketball. Okay. All right. Oh, my goodness. Oh, no, no. That's too much anxiety. It's in, but you afford yourself the opportunity to mark it if you have a high release putt like that. <laughs> the last chain drops it just enough. Wow. I mean, that's a tough, that's a tough putt for him because he's got that drive. low drop push. Ooh. But yeah, that that is that is two, uh, three incredible birdies. One unfortunate bogey for Rick, but a good putt for the bogey actually. We fly over all 11, long one, downhill. Typically, you like to just play the hyzer. It really is a moment where is the headwind blowing? If, if it is, then you can go back to your gameplay. If not, it might be hard to get to that distance that you'd like. I, I don't know. Seeming pretty calm out there. Yeah. Right? This looks like an early release, though. Early uh, and low and does not clear the trees. That's going to be a very long second shot for Kevin. I like this play. I do too. 
money. Perfect spot. Don't do anything else right there. And here's the thing. Everybody on this card could do that very easily. Take your most stable, throw a big hyzer, land right there. Eagle's trying to get a little more distance, though. Will it bite him? No. But see how he's kind of pushing that tree line mm -hmm. over there on the left? Mm -hmm. No reason for it. I don't... Ricky got this one flipping up. It's going down the right side, and he might get lucky and have a forehand into the pin. See what I mean, though? Like, why I, the yeah. extra distance? I, I don't know. Watch where Calvin's going to be throwing. I, I try to do the extra distance every time, and I'd never birdie it, so I don't know why I do it. I know you birdie it all the time, and you throw it like... Two feet. Two feet. Yeah. That was a big ask for Kevin to get all the way to the pin. Really, that's about as good as you can do from, from his position, standstill forehand. Like, look where Calvin is. Even yeah. though he doesn't make the shot, that is one. Oh, and you know. he's going to have well, another putt for birdie. Look at that. Another putt for birdie coming for Calvin. <laughs> I don't know what's going on, man. I, I, I'm, looking, I'm looking inwards at myself. I'm trying to figure out so many things about myself while watching this, too. That's a little short for Eagle, but still not a bad throw. Totally doable from here. Oh, oh boy. Whoa. Not very good. It looked dramatically worse than it probably actually was just because that branch has dropped him straight into the ground. And I'm sure it would have been a fine release if it just had missed that one outermost branch. But either way, now Ricky is left with a long par putt. That'll do. Ricky really needs this one to go. Wow. Okay. Yeah, you see him normally run those down. That is a just... Frustrating make. Wipe the sweat off your forehead type of par. Look, and he just goes down to get his stuff. He's like, I don't even want to look at it. I'm mad. <laughs> Anyone who's played with Ricky before has seen that face. And that's, he's probably going to birdie out now. <laughs> Calvin, back-to-back -back birdies. Here's what I like about that stroke. He makes it, goes down to pick his mini up, misses the grab on the disc, acts like he didn't. But I caught it, buddy, and I'm calling you out. But it's confidence, you know? And that's 100%. What you, yeah, and just the confidence and walking right through it. That's a good birdie for Eagle. Any birdie today is good. Yep. Good any birdie. birdie on any of these holes is really good. Right over the rim. Grab that disc. Wait. I give a shout out to Thomas Gilbert through this stretch that we're on right here, six birdies in a row. Ew. Yeah, I, yeah, I mean, that is that is just insanely good through this stretch. Birdie 12 and 13, so. Anyways, as we're looking at 12, Tailwind's a helping win today, but you really have to force your drive over to the right because it's gonna wanna fight back to the left, and left is bad. Let's see if Calvin goes for that late turn play. If there's a turn, it will drop. Not when you have that much speed, though. I mean, it still dropped a bit. Yeah, and that's not a bad. He's not out of birdie position by that, no. by any means, right there. That's a backhand turnover from there. Should be fine. My whole card was in those trees. Annie yeah. over, and they all got smashed. Mm -hmm. This is going left. I mean, f oh, yeah. bro, clearing the hill. In that wind. That's superhuman distance. OK, 
Kev playing that late turn. Does it stay up? Oh, it lifts. And I don't know if that's a good thing for him because that's getting the distance. But when you get down there, I mean, you were just looking at gaps that are just narrowly, just barely wider than a disc. Oh, this one could just be enormous. Yeah. See, when people just talk about how edge. far Eagle throws, and then I, Ricky throws that far. Mm -hmm. It's crazy. Not the same types of lines, but like that Whoa. Annie Ripper. Look at Calvin that. Calvin banking. He's putting. <laughs> On the 11 of the first 12 holes, he's putting. <laughs> Wake up, Paul. It's fine. <laughs> It oh, will. no. And you can see, just left is awful. Do not go over there. Kev is going to be struggling once again, and he is actually still up. That just really tells you how big Ricky and Eagle's drives actually were. This time, Kevin finds a way through, and he <laughs> thinks also. That was already yeah, close was enough good. to the pin. He was going to be making his par putt regardless. Saving the bogey free round for Kevin. He just has three trip or doubles. <laughs> I was like, what? No, that's not. Okay, yes. I'm with you now. Eagle finds a way to scramble to a birdie look. And Ricky's just so far down the hill. Just a forehand turnover from there. Also, getting the bank towards the pin. Now I'm seeing where those good breaks are going on the course. Calvin, get it up. And yes, sir. Just over the yes, rim for sir. Calvin. Let's call it a turkey. What a putt. And that's why you like his putting right there. Yeah, I do. I Firm really do. and straight, right through the wind. It just has such strike. a, it just exudes so much confidence in the, in the delivery. Yeah. You hardly ever see him with a shaky stroke. A good par scramble for Kev. Meanwhile, the other three picking up the birdies. Look at this thing just barely. Oh. If that's higher, it gets pushed out right. Just perfect. Scores starting to develop at this time of the round. Ben Calloway just a couple back. Aaron Gossage is five under. He is climbing the leaderboard after his incredible second round. So he has been playing better than anyone on the course in the last two days. We look at 13 downhill. With this tailwind, this could be a putter for anyone. Instead, or we're going to go over driver. The top driver. This has got to be over the top. This could go anywhere. Oh, it, I don't know where that's going. That looks left. But it also plays Plinko. Is that next? Did I just see it right there, 12 feet away? Is that another lucky break? Are we going to call that that? I mean, it's, he's playing for that shot, I guess. Yeah, I don't think we can say that one was. That one wasn't. The one that hit the trees 100 feet above the basket. Well, no, he's next trying to, to do that. Okay, so. all right. Fair enough. Eagles, that's a great drive. It's just, you can see what he's dealing with on the left side of the green. That's going to be a lot of trees. I guess it's technically the right side of the green. That could be bad. Shout out to all the spotters. I mean, there are a bunch of spotters almost on every hole. They're doing a great job out there. Super necessary to have those here on this hole. This is the putter you were talking about. Needs help. Needs and help. And got, got help. Yep. I. You know what? Kevin needs the help. Sure. He needs the help. That was that was much needed. Of course, got over on him on a few. 
This is tight. And that, that's a lot of work left for the par. This would be a great birdie to pick up for Kevin. Yo, left side, chain out. Good effort given. Eagle have a good look. He does, but it's just a bit too high. Important par save and good delivery. Just how close did Calvin get with that drive? Unbelievable. There it is. Oh, no. Oh. And that would have been for four in a row for Calvin, and that was just outside bullseye. Oh, that one lifted. This is stressful out here. No gimmies. Whoa, that was, that was maybe a season short for a miss that we've seen. I, I don't know. We've seen quite a few. We had a tough one at DDO with uh, James Conrad, but I, was that last season even maybe? From like just out by Bullseye that spit out? That one was pretty tough there for Calvin after that great result. Hole 14, yeah, hole 14 though, par three, reset here. 440 over the water, 430 feet to clear, pin high, a little shorter on the bottom side. There, this is one that you just want to clear today. If you start playing with trying to park this hole, bad stuff can happen. That looks like a barely clearing bad stuff happening type the shot. One thing that can help is if this is inbounds long. Oh, what did it do? It's stuck in the side. And the spotter doesn't want to give a bad call, but she gives both flags in the end. It's on the line, I believe, and out of bounds short. So Calvin will be going to the scary drop zone that we saw him take a six from round one. Once you get it on hyzer, it lifts, carries into the wood line, and then sometimes you can catch one of those trees, get a good bounce. I'm surprised it didn't. Oh, this is ambitious. I like it. So scary, though. I really like it. And Ricky giving it an ace run, and oh, <laughs> so close. What a dream ace acing 14 would be. Seriously. I believe Philo's aced it. A few other people have gotten the coveted ace here on 14. And this is also a really nice line for Kevin. Got it to go flat? Oh, go series? in, go in. Oh my God. No. What the? Kevin Jones flipping up the whole way right on line. That was the most beautiful shot I've ever seen. How do you play the late flip like that? With a mid range. That's how. Oh, what an unbelievable shot off the top. Just as we were saying. <sighs> that was awesome. And Calvin, that is a very scary run. Just to give it a bid at all is what you uh, tells you where his mindset's at. Even with the short putts, he's still going for it. And not even Ricky Wysocki, one of the most aggressive putters we've ever seen. And Eagle McMahon also lays up in the woods quicker than we could even get our cameras on. And now Kevin Jones for the birdie. Oh, total heartbreaker. Oh, and you got to take your time and reset, but that is such a nervy putt. Headwind, water behind it. Even from that short range. It is a bit scary, but Kevin knows he's got to make that putt. Unable to collect the birdie after the with a mid-range highlight off drive. The tee. Uh, yeah, wow. Once again, man, that close to the one. 
there's Ben Callaway for Matt Orem, seven under. Seven under? What? Seven under in these conditions. Wow, what is he going to finish this round at? That is unbelievable. All 15, the last par three. Well, no, 16 was a par three. It feels like it's the last par three if you're, my, if you're me. 16 is so hard. Dead straight, mid-range, if you got it. Ooh, early. Hit something now. Hey, that's a putt. That is finding a way through the forest. Ricky, this uh, should get to about 30. Should get to about there. Oh, isn't that the 60-foot tree? Yeah, that was such a good drive. Just needed to flip up a bit more to get all the way there. There's one from that other camera angle that looks like mm. it's home free, and then you see it hit something, and it looks like it's like 30, but it's like 60. Yeah. I noticed that the last couple of rounds. Kevin playing, I'm not sure if that was intending to go down the middle of the whole way or the, that little V gap that you see on the right side, but either way, he connects on a tree. Meanwhile, Calvin gets this, gets this one turning right the whole way, and now he's got... Once again, a putt for birdie. It's all but two holes so far this round. Such a long run for Ricky. Good little sit. Yeah. 80 footer. Mm, giving it a run. Ooh, off the tree. Oh. Eagle with a nice little look here. I like his style of putt for this one, too. Downhill oh, jumps he into jumps it. it. Yeah. I, I'm not, he does that sometimes. For, yeah, he doesn't need to because he's got all the power, but maybe just to get away from the bushes a little bit, give himself a little bit of buffer, just comes up a bit low. And Calvin does as well. And yet he is still at the top. Good save for Ricky. I, you just got to... Of all the tournaments that Calvin's won, how many has he just run away with? This is an event he could be running away with. Yeah. With the putting we've seen from round one and now round three, we didn't get to see his heroic round two, which got him into this position. But we've seen him miss just an absolute ton of putts. He could be up by 10 strokes at this point. Really I mean, maybe more. Just tells you right there how good of a thrower he is. But right now, he is no longer in the lead. That belongs to Ben Callaway. Hole 16, par 3, 476. Here's the gap you want to hit. In between these two trees, there is a safer gap to the right. You throw it from left to right on a turn. Straightest this, as far as you can throw it. If you can get to this lovely grass, you're loving life. There is out of bounds on the left. We've been seeing a lot of people kick over there. get to the grass yeah oh man just four percent effort and long on 476 through a tight gap once again it will never not amaze me I think that's why we do talk about Eagle's distance and not so much Ricky. Like Ricky, that looked like Ricky threw the disc. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And Eagle gets the same distance without looking like he's exerting any effort. Kevin also, look at the beautiful control on this late flip. That is just 
a thing of beauty, beating the two last yes. trees. Awesome. Just out C, outside C1. I mean, what else can it do? I mean, if, if it misses these trees, yeah. And just, what else can it do? Four players putting for birdie on 16. Just fantastic. Three of them just absolutely laced. Yeah. And Ricky just barely overturned it. I mean, and he's out here with a very makeable putt. Long for sure, but very makeable. Oh, you see how he got that crouch position? He was ready to charge. He thought he made it. A good run. Good, good height, just didn't quite hyzer enough. Kevin gets it. Man, he's had a nice few holes in a row. He's definitely fighting back. Yes. Fighting back. Six over in a three holes in a four hole stretch. And once again, Eagle with the jump putt. I, and maybe that's because the wall was in his back foot. I'm guessing he didn't like the traditional stagger stance. Yeah. Yeah, I was, don't see that often from him. And another C1 miss for Calvin. This is unbelievable, really. I mean, it, and it, at it puts this point, us in it's a, not even windy. It puts us in a bad position, I think, as commentators. I mean, I don't know what else to say about it. I've lost different adjectives for it. It's just remarkable that he can be in contention every event and not making his putts. Well, he needs to be careful because eventually somebody of his caliber is going to get on fire and on his card, he's not going to be able to stick with it. Luckily, those guys are on the second card. This card's yeah. not doing much. Right. You, you know what I mean? He's only one back. Yeah. <laughs> You can't miss putts like that in wind tournaments. You just can't do it. If he keeps doing it, he's not going to win. Yeah, sure. He's coming down there's the no, stretch. There's no chance. Right. But, man, he's... He's got to correct this one, one eventually. Back. I just, it's remarkable. All 17. This is one of the easier birdies to get coming down the stretch and on the course. And like you said, Paul, it looks like the wind is really down. Wind wasn't a huge factor on this hole, I can imagine, for most people throughout the day because you're pretty tight in the woods there and then you deal with a little bit of open stuff here. But at this place in the course, the wind is usually pretty well protected. I could agree with that. Here's the 2% throw from Eagle. Got to make sure that he doesn't go deep out of bounds, I guess. Doesn't go into the state of Maine or just places it very nicely, top of the hill. He hugging that right side corner. That's turning over pretty hard. It's okay, though. I like that right side over there. There's not mm -hmm. as many trees. And it's a good forehand line for, for Rick. Oh, wow. That really turned over pretty heavy. Excuse me about the no not being that wind affected. I'm not sure if that was just Might overturned just, out of yeah, the hand. or Maybe overturned a little bit. Yeah. See a little wind over there on the left-hand side. Scary thing about this one is the OB on the left side does come into play. Calvin electing to not really challenge the basket or the OB, just get around the corner. Be a downhill long putt, though. I'd, I'd, probably 60 feet. Is this going to hold? Uh, looks a little wide. Oh. Ricky Alexa go backhand. This looks much better. More turn. So good. Kevin's going to have to make a long one in order to save the no bogeys. <laughs> yep, that's how you do that. That's yeah. the name of that tune. <laughs> yeah, it's... It's eagle. It's, it's still... More than likely, you can bet that that's a birdie. 
You have been getting aggressive. Oh. Yes. <laughs> no bogeys. No, 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 no. <laughs> no red marks. What a save. Great back nine for Kevin. And that one splash out for Birdie on 13. And the near ace on 14. Oh, Calvin. Calm down. See, he misses those ones. I, and then he's like, Paul, you talk we, to me like that ever again. I have no idea what he's going to do if next. you ever talk to me like that again. <laughs> he's made a couple long ones this round. And he's missed three or four just inside 20. Well, maybe not that many, but it feels like it. I didn't think that our card was about to shoot three under with those approaches, but that's what they did. And that's what they do. And you can see this is a little darker than it's been in prior rounds. So it's starting at Midway through the four o'clock hour will do for you. Playing Maple Hill Gold Course. We see Matt Orem, fire emoji, six under round, moving up the leaderboard. He will and he be was at Chase seven, card. so he must have bogeyed 18. Yes, he did. And speaking of 18, third most difficult hole, averaging nearly 4.5. That is so hard, and they made it harder this year with the layup zone being brought in dramatically on that high left side it is now really forces a player to really consider going for it eagle intentionally playing the turnover play going through the willows and the pine and dropping down i think it's short of the trees that'll be a layup for eagle That's blasted. massive. That's just blasted. Oh, oh, no. Not a great result. The willows are pretty catchy, but that thing, I thought it had enough to hyzer back into the center. Not to be for Rick. They like this flex play, huh? And a lot, they're just banking on peering. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Oh, no. Out of bounds long. Through the right side. Through the right side. Wow. Okay. And this is nice for Kevin around the willows. Going to be a tough angle, but very doable. And it's probably only going to be 265 to get to the green. Ricky just laying up here. Yeah, going to the pine straw. And... Yeah, it has to play the layup a little bit shorter than I'm sure you'd like, but that OB line really forces you to throw a much harder second shot. Yeah, you definitely have to check yourself on that hook shot. Uh, yeah, big skip on the green even. Well wow, done for Kevin. What a back nine. I, I very could have easily just mm -hmm. not had the finish that he wanted, but put his head down and charge forward. That was impressive stuff. Eagle just ripping it past the Ow. island. Oh, souvenir. Is that how it works? Well, he'll have a bruise for a while, at least a month. <laughs> Eagle trying to figure out how can he possibly throw it softer yeah. and not go long. So is that guy. <laughs> Calvin putting good disc choice in the hand. Heisering that onto the green, making the fairway and the island as big as possible. That is a good par save. I can't believe how long that drive went. I think Calvin's probably acknowledging how good of a back nine that was for Kevin. Really after hole nine. The mm -hmm. birdie on nine. Yeah. Yeah. Seriously. And Ricky, oh, that's no. going to be... That, that's going to be long as well. Ricky's layup play for the par is going to net him bogey, best case scenario, more than likely a double bogey if he doesn't make the drop zone putt. And this is eagle four par. Yeah. yeah. Are you serious? Yeah. 
Yeah, count that one. That's what he does. He makes long putts. And throws far both ways. Wins a lot of tournaments. And those, those are all the things he does. That's it. And he gets his disc back. <laughs> He's so happy. That's, That's great. awesome. Finally gets the jumper where he wanted. Making the putt from the drop zone in 18 is one of the real treats on tour. The crowd is always so receptive. Of a good par save or sometimes a bogey save. Mm -hmm. And that's what Ricky's hoping for here. Oh, such a good effort given off the rim short. And it will be a double bogey finish for Ricky. And what's that going to do for him? Well, that's why that layup is so tough, like you were saying. Yeah, it's no Kevin. gimme. Good job. And he's yeah. finished with birdies on 18, two rounds in a row now. Yeah, you don't make the island from the layup. You're double bogey. Yeah, pretty much. Seen it happen a bunch. A round of what could have been for Calvin. I mean, still and, good shooting. Yeah, what could have been and what is. Like, he is uh, tied for first. So. <laughs> yeah. But we got to see the disc fly so well. Simon Lazat charges into a tie for first place with a fire emoji. Six under round. Matt Orm will be at the top of Chase card going into the final round. Aaron Gossage, five under, following up his nine under effort from round two. Great play. But Ben Calloway, once again, he had the lead going into 18 and took another bogey on it. He has had the lead going into 18 two rounds in a row and finishes 18 not in the lead. Yeah. So that is going to be something to look out for going into the final round. But there is our lead card. It is set. And there are so many things happening, moving and shaking as players are trying to qualify for the Pro Tour Championship. I believe that you and Garrett are in a battle for that last spot. Yeah, there's a few of us. And there's a few other players who are trying to get from 17th place into the top 16 just to get a few extra strokes sure. just to help them move their way through the Tour Championship in Charlotte in a few weeks. We've got one more round left here in Leicester, Massachusetts. It's going to be exciting. Hopefully less windy. We'll see you then.